First of all, uh, the name of my topic, uh, my project was a preliminary study on the toxicity of the water samples from two important water bodies in, Ke in Kerala, Kollam Canal and Ashtamudi Lake. This topic is based on the focal theme, our pla planet Earth, our home, explore, care and share, and the sub-theme, new sphere. The main objective behind my project was to know the level of toxicity in these two water bodies, that is Kollam Canal and Ashtamudi Lake. And to know the level of toxicity, I have conducted for three biases. First of all, uh, I will say about the biases. The first bias was the germination of spinach seeds in these two water samples and also in the control. A control mean uh, the control we selected was well water. And the observation showed that even after 96 hours, that is nearly four days, there was no growth for the spinach seeds put in the water sample from Ashtamudi Lake and Kollam Canal. But in the control, that is in the well water, there was an average growth of 5.6 millimeter. Then the second bias was that of the onion bulbs. Even after 72 hours, that is nearly three days, there was no growth for the onion bulbs placed in the water sample from Kollam Canal. But in the water sample from Ashtamudi Lake, there was an average growth of 1 mm. And in the control, there was an average growth of 13.5 mm. Then I conducted the bioassay, that is a lethal concentration 50 of the water samples collected from both these stations. And the LC50 of the water sample from Ashtamudi Lake was 72 hours, whereas that at Kollam Canal was just 48 hours. So from this biosis, it is clear that these two water bodies are highly polluted. So I measured some of the hydrographic features of uh, these two water bodies. First of all, transparency. The depth of Ashtamudi Lake is nearly 6 meters uh, to 7 meters. But the transparency was just 25 centimeters. And the transparency of the uh, Kollam Canal was also just 10 centimeters. The next, the pH value. The normal pH value is 7. But the pH value of Ashtamudi Lake was 8, showing that it is slightly alkaline in nature. Whereas that at Kollam Canal was 5, showing that it is acidic in nature. Then the oxygen content. A water body should have a minimum of 6 to 7 milligram per liter of oxygen. But the oxygen content at Ashtamudi Lake was 2.3 milligram per liter, just 2.3 milligram per liter. Whereas that at Kollam Canal was 0, that is there was no oxygen found there. And the carbon dioxide content at Ashtamudi Lake was 0, whereas that at Kollam Canal was 20 parts per million. Then the salinity at Ashtamudi Lake was 13 parts per ton. Whereas that at Kollam Canal was 4.5 parts per ton. So from these hydrographic features and also from the biases, it is clear that these two water bodies are very highly polluted. But it is important for us to preserve these water bodies. And to preserve these water bodies, effective measures are to be taken. To take effective measures, we should understand the real causes for this pollution. The major cause for this pollution is the disposal of household waste, including sewage and plastics, by the people living near to these water bodies. And also there is disposal of waste by some small scale industries uh, such as uh, soft factories, cutlet factories, etc. But the major problem faced by station A, that is ashrama within a first mode history, is the disposal of waste by the slaughterhouse. These are only the major problems faced by both the sites. But these problems have a great impact on these water bodies. As part of our project, we also conducted an interview with the fishermen in the ashram within a first mode history and compared the results with the project done by the students of Srinarana Public School for the 48th National Children's Science Congress. But the results were very shocking. Four species of fishes, namely Jerus abbreviatus, Engrolis commasonim, then uh, Mutterim, and also one another species from the category of abundant uh, fishes, were, went to a category of rare fishes. This is mainly due to the acute pollution in this region. So as I have said, to preserve these water bodies, effective measures are to be taken. First of all, laws should be passed, then law abettors should be punished and also cleaning of the water body should be done regularly. But the, but the most important measure is that the people living near to these water bodies should be made aware about the gravity of pollution. And as part of this measure, we are conducting an awareness class for the people living near to Kollam Canal. And the people responded to the meeting in a very good manner. We also presented a memorandum to the district collector and also to the mayor regarding this pollution and as, and as they have given favorable replies to us. So, with our project, that is a preliminary study on the polluted water samples, we were able to create awareness among the people and alertness among the concerned authorities. And we hope that they may change their attitude towards these water bodies. So, while polluting the water bodies, what we should remember is that the water that will ever be in is right now. Finding water on the moon does not mean that it is a backup reservoir for supporting life. So, we should conserve our resources for our mother planet and our future. Thank you.